Hey guys, welcome to the free video section. Today we are going to cover the role of ETL testing tools, which is under the section Data Integration Tool Informatica. For more details, you can go through the course details of our website ETL Testing Tutorial. And if you have any query regarding the free video, you can speak your mind under the QA section. Now, let us take a look for, on the list of ETL tools. So here I have listed out some of ETL tools that are provided by different different vendors. The first one is Pass Center Informatica, then comes SAP Data Services, Talent Open Studio and Integration Suite. So SSIS is coming there, IBM Information Center, Exchange Data Connect. So there are a list of ETL tools which could be used for performing the ETL process. Now the question comes is, what all are the popular ETL tools? So if I search for the list of popular ETL tools, here I'm getting AWS, Glue, Explenty, Aluma, Talent, Stitch and Informatica is also coming within this list. That means within the top 7 ETL tools in comparison with others, I'm also getting Informatica Power Center. Now the question comes in mind is, is Informatica that much popular that we can get a job? So if I search for ETL testing jobs, with Informatica or if you search for see I'm getting around so many links for getting these kind of jobs and if you search for this see there are around 5343 ideal testing jobs including Informatica within this nokri.com link which is surrounded in India within India we can search through Nokri.com and it is providing me around 5,343 jobs. Fine. And you can also search for Informatica jobs like this. And here I'm getting 2,026 Informatica jobs. Right. That means Informatica is that much popular that you can get a job through this tool if you are familiar with it. Now, let us take a look that what is the role of a ETL tester. Now, if I see the ETL process, within ETL process, what we do is we use to fetch data from different, different sources. Now, these sources can be of different, different types. Like the first source can be of Oracle format. Like let us assume that the DB1 is coming in Oracle format or Oracle database. The second DB2 is coming in a Google sheet. And the third data source is coming in SQL and the fourth data source is coming in a flat file. That means different different data sources could use different different formats for storing the data. Now what we are going to do over here is we are going to fetch the data from different different store sources and then we will put the data in a staging area where we are going to validate the data. Now why, why do we need to validate the data? Because the data that we are fetching could have some duplicate values, there could be null values. So we need to cleanse this data and then we will put the data in a single database which is our target data warehouse. So who is going to do this? Yeah. The ETL tester is going to fetch the data, he is going to validate the data and then will put the data in the data warehouse. Now the ETL tester cannot do this without any tool. So according to the ETL testing process, he will use a tool which will help to do this process. And in my recording sessions, we are going to use the Power Center Informatica as our tool for performing the whole process. So hope you have understood what is the role of ETL testing tools and what is the role of a tester in this whole process.